my dear children welcome to the accountancy class today in this second session we are going to study the important elements of bill of exchange my dear children this is the format of bill of exchange bill of exchange is an instrument in writing conditional order to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the bearer of the instrument the important constituents or elements of the bill of exchange are the first one is place and date of the payment the date of writing the bill must be cleared clearly mentioned in the bill of exchange before the due date is to be calculated on the basis of this date the place of the payment should also be specified if it is not specified the payment will be made at the address of the drawer written in the bill of exchange the second point is stamp bill of exchange bears the stamp or it is drafted on a on a stamped paper of the court the stamps are fixed according to the amount of the bill stamp paper makes the drawee legally liable for the payment it also makes the bill legal document the stamp is not fixed on the bills whose payment is to be made on demand on the basis of the uh, term bill of exchange it is classified as bill at sight and bill after date the first one is bill at sight these bills are drawn by the drawer on the drawee with the condition that the payment of the bill will be made on its presentation the drawee has to make the payment of the bill whenever it is presented to him the second important element of bill of exchange is bills mm -hmm. after date these bills are drawn for a certain specified period the pay the payment of these bills is made after the expiry of the specified period plus Three days of grace. For example, if the bill is drawn on first April two thousand twelve, payable after three months, its payment will be made on April first and three months plus three days of grace. So the due date will be fourth July two thousand twelve. Another important element is days of grace. While calculating. the due date of the bill 3 days of grace has have to be compulsorily added initially sympathy and kindness but it became a practice ordinary drawers allowed 3 days as customary practice it has now become a law according to indian partnership in according to indian negotiable instruments act the drawee can avail of 3 days of grace as a matter of legal right for example if the bill has been drawn on 1st july 2013 payable after 2 months the due date will be 4th september 2013 and the last important point of last important characteristics or important feature of bill of exchange is due date or date of maturity it is the specific date on which the payment of the bill has to be made in another words it is the date on which the bill matures for the payment the bill must be honored on or before the due date the bill will case the bill will cease to exist after its due date if it is not honored by the due date the bill will be supposed to be dishonored now we are going to study the due date of some dates now we are going to solve one problem calculate the due date of the bill in the following cases the first case is the bill drawn on 1st january 2013 the bill drawn for 3 months how can you calculate the due date of this bill the first is to 
ഫസ്റ്റ് ജാനുവരി ടു ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫെബ്രുവരി വൺ മന്ത് ദെൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫെബ്രുവരി ടു ഫസ്റ്റ് മാർച്ച് സെക്കൻഡ് മന്ത് ഫസ്റ്റ് മാർച്ച് ടു ഫസ്റ്റ് ഏപ്രിൽ തേർഡ് മന്ത് ദെൻ ആഡ് ത്രീ ഡേയ്സ് ഓഫ് ഗ്രേസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഏപ്രിൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഏപ്രിൽ സെക്കൻഡ് ഏപ്രിൽ തേർഡ് ആൻഡ് ഏപ്രിൽ ഫോർത്ത് ഏപ്രിൽ ഫോർത്ത് ഈസ് ദ ഡ്യൂ ഡേറ്റ് ദെൻ അനദർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഈസ് തേർട്ടിയത്ത് ഏപ്രിൽ ടു തൗസൻഡ് തേർട്ടീൻ ഡ്യൂറേഷൻ ഈസ് ടു മന്ത്സ് സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് തേർട്ടിയത്ത് ഏപ്രിൽ ടു തേർട്ടിയത്ത് മെയ് വൺ മന്ത് ദെൻ തേർട്ടിയത്ത് മെയ് ടു തേർട്ടിയത്ത് ജൂൺ സെക്കൻഡ് മന്ത് ദെൻ ആഡ് ത്രീ ഡേയ്സ് ഓഫ് ഗ്രേസ് സോ ദ ഡ്യൂ ഡേറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ജൂലൈ തേർഡ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് തേർട്ടീൻ ദെൻ അനദർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ദ ബിൽ ഡ്രോൺ ഫോർ ഓൺ ട്വൻറ്റി നയൻത്ത് ജാനുവരി ടു തൗസൻഡ് തേർട്ടീൻ ഡ്യൂറേഷൻ ഇസ് ഓൺലി വൺ മന്ത് from 29th january to 28th february one month then add three days of grace so the due date will be 3rd march 2013 then another case is on 1st on 31st january then duration for two months so from 30th january to 30 uh, 28th february one month 28th february to 28th march second month then add three days of grace so march second is the april second is the due date then another case is 30th june 2013 the duration is 30 days from july uh, from june 30 to july 30 one month then add three days of grace the due date will be 2nd august 2013 then another date is 1st july the bill drawn for 60 days from 1st july to 1st october 1st august one month then 1st of august to 30th august second month that is 60 days then add 3 days of grace then the, the due date will be 2nd september 2013 then another uh, date is on november 27th for 3 months so november 27 to december 27 one month december 27 to december um, 27th january second month then january 27 to february 27 third month plus 3 days of grace so march second is the due date And then another uh, transaction uh, took place on Uh, january 31st the bill drawn for month, one month so the due date will be from uh, 28 february plus 3 days of grace so the due date will be 3rd march 2013 my dear children this these are the various methods for calculating due date of the bill thank you